Okay, we're back with the next step in our printmaking process. And this part is the carving or cutting part. So we've got our block, which is the surface that we are creating our image in. Um, as we learned in our video where we were transferring our design. Now the tool that we're gonna cut with, these are called gouges. And we have lots of different, um, and focus in on that a little better. Um, we have different sizes and different shapes of gouges. This one's a very tiny V and it cuts a very thin line. Um, then going up, we have a wider V shape and it's obviously gonna cut a wider line and then a wider and even wider V shape. Some people call this a U gouge instead of a V um, because the shape of it is kind of U-shaped. Um, and this one is more square and it is only, only, only for cutting, for cutting out big wide areas. Um, and I rarely give this one out because this one, it's really, really easy to dig down to the bottom, to the other side of your block. And if you do that, you can't use this side in case something would go drastically wrong with this side. So it's gonna be a rare occasion when I give you this one. So we'll set that one aside. So now one of the first things I'm going to do is use the smaller one, focus, um, use the smaller one to kind of cut around some of my really fine details like in the center of the flower in there and maybe around those dark areas in the middle of the flower, some of those little details. Perhaps in inside those narrow areas that I want to stay white or I want to become white. On here, any area that is purple or a, your whatever dark color you have used will remain. That has to stay. The gray will go away. That's a little rhyme. The gray will go away. The dark stays. Um, I need to come up with a better rhyme for the last part, but so don't cut the perf, don't cut the dark, cut the gray. Gray goes away. Okay. I'm holding the dark, you know, the biggest round part kind of in the in the palm of my hand and I'm going to use my my index finger to push down a little bit don't don't try to use this like a pencil it's not a pencil that will rip your block to shreds and your you know the nice clean edges will not look good so so I don't want to see you using it like a pencil it's not made to use that way this part this top is not the sharp part this end is the sharp part. So, and that's part of the reason why we always want to um, push away from yourself. It's the main reason why we want to, you want the gouge to go away from you. So I'm, I'm going to press down on the block and I'm going to slide forward and I'm gonna get these little crumbs. And that's how you know you're doing it right if you get crumbs. Um, and we'll talk about what to do with those later. Um, and this part, this part is the back, the open part. Think of it as a spoon. This part goes down in your soup and this part holds the soup. So when I, when I go to cut, I can turn my block any direction as long as it's going up against the back of the bench hook. So yeah, you know, here's my, there was my soup scooping up in the bowl. So, and turn your block so that it is easiest to cut. So then I'm pushing away from myself and see how my crumb is going nicely into the bowl. And I kind of flipped up. I got a nice clean point right there because I took my tool and I went ink. I gotta use my brain and steer around things, but it is not difficult work. 
I'm not working hard. I'm not putting a lot of muscle into it. My tool slides right along and cuts cleanly. Um, I'm holding the tool in the bottom, in the palm of my hand, the fat part in that little hollow place. It's made to go there in your hand. I'm pushing down and I'm sliding forward and I can steer kind of around the shapes how I want them or how I drew them. And I'm gonna go around and in between where I want those, you know, where I have narrow areas. Okay, so here's how cutting looks from the side. So you can kind of see how far down in, into the block my, my gouge goes. It is not very deep. And then I'm sliding forward. And it doesn't go down in there very far. And I'm just turning to steer. Okay. That's not that's not super deep. Okay, now here at the end it's Right here at the end, it's not, you can see that. You know, the top of, top edge of the block is not being cut away. That's okay. Leave that little line there, because that's gonna, that'll help you later on when we go to print. That will create an edge, but leave that edge on there. It will help you later. It's okay. So. Um, yeah, I'm not going very deep. My, my little crumbs are not real tall. They're kind of shallow or you're not, they're not very tall at all. I don't want them to be great huge. That is not very deep. So if I put my finger up there, that is not very deep at all. So if you're, as you're cutting, going along cutting, if your, if your gouge, especially this little one, if it goes down underneath the surface like that, that's not okay. Um, make sure it's, you can see the whole thing sliding across the top. I can see both sides of my gouge at all times. That's how it should be. Not sinking down and underneath. We're not scooping like ice cream going to finish this up in two minutes flat and as you're watching there are parts where it doesn't look like I'm using the bench hook very well and I am and you can tell especially because my fingers are back behind the blade and I'm always pushing forward away from my hands and away from my body so keep that in mind as you're working and um after you watch the video, you can you know, get your tools and you can start working. Um, actually, I want you to practice first. I have some small pieces of um, soft cut that you can use to practice. So I want you to practice a little bit first. I'll draw some lines on it and you can practice going, you know, following the lines. Anyway, after that, happy carving and we will watch till the end.
Okay, don't forget to clean up. You can take all of your crumbs and you know, brush them onto your bench hook and then just dump them in the trash can. Um, always clean up after yourself. A clean studio is a happy studio and a happy Mrs. Castle too. So, happy carving.